All right, so the pr the process um, that I used here uh, in relation to Assure, the Assure model, had um, to do with the fact that I was assigned the task of taking over a course, um, and the name of the course is uh, with the cor the college in initials, and uh, basically it's a non credit course uh, where I'm not allowed to assign homework. I am not allowed to uh, provide any type of assessments uh, in the sense relative to giving student actual grades. So I'm kind of stuck. The students don't actually have to attend the course. They just have to come in, tag in for uh, attendance, and then leave. Uh, yet, mind you, regardless of these obstacles, I still have to provide them SAT and ACT practice. So it's almost like here's the game, and these are all the rules that are against the game. So I said, I, you know, I started analyzing uh, all of these elements in addition to the fact that you know it's not mandatory yet. I have to draw them to this resource as part of the uh, alleged course, and, and in a sense, I was creating for myself a job because if you know I ended up with no students, then they would have eventually canceled out the course or changed the course to another. Um, another location or platform. So I decided that I was going to create our personal version of an SAT, ACT, like a Pearson parallel type course, except a little bit more concentrated to the students' needs. So what I'm introducing here is Course Sites. This is by Blackboard. It is it's for teachers, so it's free. As you can see, it's got great accolades. Um, and they tell us here that we create up to five courses, we can engage students in social learning, we can weave multimedia into class concept, content, excuse me, assess performance and manage grades, share uh, open education resources, and teach open courses or MOOCs on our new uh, open education platform. So what I did, and if you notice here, the students can actually um, you know, sign up as a student, create their own account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in quickly. <clears throat> and there's a few, you know, obviously have to read a few agreements and whatnot, but once you're in, you're in. So when you look here, you go to your content page. In my case, I have several uh, open, but um, uh, ACT, SAT is where they would go. And so I created this uh, template, all of this uh, for them, in, in relation to their needs. Now, given, uh, first of all, let's go back and, and readdress their needs. Who are these people? And most of these students are, believe it or not, are 11th and 12th graders that are still in high school. However, they are so advanced that they are um, already in motion to obtain their AA while they are juniors and seniors in high school. So that means that they have had to have passed all of their content uh, tests, all the state mandated tests per our state. And uh, they had to have also completed X number of courses that are regulated by the Florida Department of Education. So as you can see, uh, there's obviously the course homepage, there's the student center, <coughs> excuse me, um, I provided them a course outline, syllabus, um, there's announcements, uh, there's online tutoring that I provide, uh, the Instructor Resource Center, which if I click on this, you'll see I have a myriad of uh, resources that I have here for myself uh, to embed and to monitor. There's email, where you can email students, gradebook, where they can access their grades, Internet resources, again, you can upload a plethora of resources and you can just use whatever is available. Supplemental lectures. Here you can also download download any, um, you know, videos and uh, tutorial uh, modes, you name it. What is really beautiful about this particular website is uh, that you can create, uh, very similar to the Strayer uh, I believe the Strayer program, 
uh, web links, videos, uh, audio, you mashups, uh, new pages, create files, you name it, it's there. So this particular format allowed me to create, I'll give you an example of week one, where you can see I have um, Khan Academy, I have tasks, I have a mini diagnosis, an SAT, um, and uh, how to get a perfect score, Khan Academy. This is like an introductory um, week. And notice that I also talk about Naviance and scholarships and list of Florida scholarships. So that was my first hook to get them interested because I, I figured if by week one, if I could get them to bite, then I can reel in a pretty big fish in a sense. Um, I see these students uh, twice a week. And in doing so and having uh, gone over, especially what's the difference between scoring say uh, a 34 versus a 36 or 38 on the ACT and mentioning the fact that the difference is only a couple hundred thousand dollars. I mean, what is that in today's economy? I mean, hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> um, and it's uh, obviously joking. Um, so they got very interested very fast to say the least. Once I had them hooked in week one and I introduced all of the, the gadgets and gimmicks that were accessible by week two I decided to infuse a variety of different mm -hmm. um, techniques and we used um, some if you notice here a linear equation systems and inequalities practice this actually was a melding of their SAT program and uh, if you'll notice here the heart of algebra notes and practice this came from their actual book and then I introduced solving the hardest um, math questions on the SAT because these students are not needing the necessary uh, border, you know, the, the basic remediation. These students actually are in need of higher level practice. So they need the tougher questions um, and to work on their speed, of course, to, you know, make that cut from you know, that average to above average to extremely above average. If you notice, I also infused information on ACT, and I do have some ACT videos in practice, ACT Mastery, Khan Academy. This is simply for them to turn in work. This is more practice on linear equations and systems. And as you can see, I'm able to give them a task every week, a task tablet, so they know what to do in class. We also play Kahoot in class, and I use the Kahoot not just for fun, but to get them also enthused about working on their time, because they have to be quick. And so, uh, if you notice, I infused a Kahooted activity in there, um, and this is uh, part of their, their journey. So, if I go to Kahoot, let me see if I can log in real quick, and... Um, log into my website and I can sh share with you a couple of the quizzes that I created. Some of them I can simply uh, borrow from other teachers. But I personally, I like to, um, let's see here, I like to make my own, create my own because I use my student data, which I'm going to show you uh, what I use for that to, to obtain or to determine what to use when, right? So as you can see, I used the first, we did practice one, the no calculator questions. What's really cool about Kahoot, <clears throat> and a lot of people obviously um, will immediately peg the fact that you have a phone app. You could play in classic mode or team mode, which is really nice. Once they play, I can actually look at their, um, their actual... Uh, results, which is also impressive. Um, when I look at my cahoots, uh, you can see here algebra, numbers and operations, the heart of algebra, similarities and differences. I actually started with this when we first started talking. And um, what's really cool, let's see if I could pull up one of the one of the tablets here. So you can see you could put it in challenge mode. Um, you could see the questions and the answers that I asked. This was the introductory example. And this also provides data, so I can also get my student data, which is impressive. 
how much information is on this. The other impressive part of core sites going further, and, and this, by the way, continues with all these types of activities embedded in here. Um, in course tools, we can obtain a ton of information. Uh, you can see here under course tools, all of these are accessible to me and are used by me because I, I used everything. I use everything that I can to, um, you know, provide the most thorough um, access as possible. Let me see here. There is a grade center where I, I actually cannot show it because I don't want to show student information. Um, I have also data that is provided through this process. Uh, there's tons of information. This does item analysis. This does, um, it'll give me, you name it, it, it's amazing the amount of data. It'll give me the averages for particular um, performance. Here I could get the SCORM reports, performance dashboard, etc. So this is a wonderful resource and one that I employ and this is the premise or the focus for my Assure model because I can tell you, I can assure you, that I use these particular steps from the Assure model to actually create this. I had to because I had to go through the analysis of all of my students. I had to look at the standards and objectives. I had to make sure the students are utilizing the information. I had to make sure the students were responding, which by the way, with the quizzes, with the embedded quizzes, I am able to do so. I believe this one is one example of a calculator, uh, or not calculator, but um, the no calculator section of the exam in which I embedded the questions. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you this example. And I can see, based on the question I, the questions I chose based on the diagnostics, that these are the questions the students needed to obtain information or further practice on and as they did these questions you can see I cut and paste them because they're not all of the like and you can also see that question 10 is really question 13 from another resource and this is based on the number of questions students that had missed and I said you know let's do these questions and see how you do students would save it submit so let me just do this as a practice so you can see what it would look like so I'll just click on random random numbers here see Oh, let's go here. Let's choose all D's. I should choose all A's to psychologically yeah, trump anybody who's watching this. But D is quick. D for dumb. Or dynamic. As I choose the, 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 um, the various answers, <coughs> or various questions here, you can see majority of these focus on a variety of algebra concepts. Alright, so I'll save and submit. I'll hit OK. And it'll tell me, you know, how much time I used. Um, it gives me all the information that I need. And it's all here. If I hit OK, I see what OK does in this piece that I give them. Yeah, it actually gives them the answer and it tells them they can go back and see what happened and then what I always do is I'll ask them to actually go back and rework the question if they got it incorrect and see if they can come up with the correct answer. So this video is, again is just to explain how I used Ashore and what I created using the Ashore model and um, that's pretty much it. I'm sure I missed some stuff because there's even more available but I'm restricted to time. So with that in mind, here we go.